Jordan. Hello, James. Jervis, never should have left that hole you were hiding in. Oh, I wasn't just hiding. I put the time to good use. Made a thorough study of you. Quite the fascinating history, yet so tragic. A father lost, career gone by the wayside, failed relationships. And here I didn't think about you once. <laughs> oh, James. I've been inside that head of yours, James. I've seen the web of lies you tell yourself, strung together to keep that fragile psyche of yours intact. Well, it's been nice catching up with you. I'm going to force you to confront who you really are. And I'm going to drive you mad doing it. Now, please, direct your eyes to the overpass. Meet Dave and Amy Walter. Married just this morning. Lovely ceremony. In 30 seconds, they're going to jump to their deaths. Take the stairs and you can save them. However, down the street, there's a little boy. His name is Shane, and he's going to be hit by a truck driven by my highly esteemed associate. The choice is yours, James. You can't save both. So, who's it going to be? Jervis, you didn't have to kill them. It was your choice, James. You practically pushed them off the ledge. Stay with me, James. James. What? 87 Fulton Street, apartment 4C. Five minutes. No police or more people die. 